What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from DD TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, all of that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, now this video is for educational purposes, so as I approach this topic with respect, I need you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. All right, now this story comes out of Op, Alabama. Kelvin Burks was a pastor in Op, Alabama. His love for preaching, singing, and cosmetology made him popular in that area. Those who knew Pastor Kelvin Burks said that he was a loving, caring person that went out of his way to help others which is why it came as a shock when his body was found lifeless in the kitchen of his home. According to Op Police Chief Kevin Chance, on March 4th, around 12.55 p.m., Op Police Department was dispatched to the residence in the 2300 block of West Cummings Avenue to a possible deceased male inside the residence. Upon arrival, officers located Pastor Kelvin Burks, 41 years old, deceased inside the kitchen area of the residence. Now, criminal investigators were called to the scene. As part of the initial investigation, a search warrant was issued for the residents, and Pastor Kelvin Burks was transported to the Alabama Department of Forensic Science for an autopsy. That autopsy later revealed that the cause of death for Pastor Kelvin Burks to be homicide, and the investigation was shift to reflect this. Op Criminal Investigation, along with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agencies, State Bureau of Investigation, and the Coveting County District Attorney's Office are now working diligently on the situation at hand to determine who is responsible for the death of Pastor Kelvin Burks. Now, when family and friends got the news of Pastor Kelvin Burks' death, many of them took to social media to express their shock and sadness. Angela wrote, share, share. If any of y'all know anything, saw anything, heard anything, please tell it. Talk. It don't sit well with us that his killer isn't arrested. No information is too small. Hashtag justice for Kelvin Burks. AJ wrote, not Kelvin. Oh my God, I have no words. My heart is torn. And then one of his best friends took to her social media page and she posted, If anyone knew me for real, they knew that I loved Burks and Burks loved me. A lot of people thought that we were boyfriend and girlfriend because we were so close, but he was my best friend and today I am numb, so hurt and broken, but I don't mourn as those who have no hope. I thank God for the time he gave me with him and I am forever grateful and will love him as long as I live. Rest on, Kelvin. Now I'm going to let you all watch this video and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary and you all know me, I'm Dawson and I won't hold back. Those of us that are barely holding on, if you stay in the face of God and if you get in the face of God and if you hold on to what God is saying, God said, I will empower you. I will empower you with everything you need to stand. I will empower you with everything you need to fight. I will empower you with my spirit. I will give you everything you need to fight. But the thing is, you can allow your mind to get you off focus. You cannot allow your mind and what you're going through the battle. See, the biggest battles that we have in our life are going to be battles of the mind. Friends are reflecting on the life of an op pastor who was found dead in his home about a week ago. WDHN's Robert Smith spoke to a longtime friend of the pastor and has more on the story. Dustin White had just had a conversation with his best friend, who he considers more of a brother, Kelvin Burks. And sadly, approximately 48 hours after that conversation, he got the news from Kelvin's cousin that his life was taken away. Immediately, I looked at Facebook. No one had posted anything, and he had told me the family were, was keeping it quiet because they didn't know what had happened or what was going on. And I just, I lost it. Burks was found dead in the kitchen of his home on the 2300 block of West Coming Avenue in Op about a week ago. According to the Op Police Department, Burks' autopsy shows he was murdered. And so far, there have been no arrests made. Hearing the news that somebody took his life, I still can't fathom that. Although the police department hasn't released details concerning the murder, White says he noticed something unusual on Burks' social media page the day of the killing, and it's been mind-bothering to friends and family. There was a post on his Facebook asking for $1,000 to be sent to his cash app. Kelvin was a pastor. Kelvin had solicited money in the past, but never 
ever with a dollar amount. White says Burst was a man of God, the pastor of the Living Waters Christian Church in Op, and was affiliated with other churches. The man was like a siren. He could sing angels down from heaven. He, he could play the music, sing the music, write the music, and he brought so many people to the Lord. On a personal note, White and Burst graduated from Elba High School together, and he says Burst eliminated a legacy of racism in his family. He was a brother to me. Not only did we grow up there, I come to Gulf Shores, Alabama, right behind me, he moved to Daphne, Alabama. So down here, we would get together every weekend, go fishing at the Fairhope Pier, and, and that friendship from high school just never faltered. Reporting, Robert Smith, WDHN News, for the Wiregrass. All right, y'all, let's go in. But before I go in, let me send my condolences out to the family, friends, and associates of Pastor Kelvin Burks. He was beloved in that community by many, and I know that you all miss him terribly. Now, you all heard in the video where Pastor Kelvin's friend stated that he talked to him days before his murder and that he noticed that on the day of Pastor Kelvin's murder that there was a post on his Facebook account asking for $1,000. Now, when I looked on that Facebook page, I didn't see that post. I don't know, maybe Pastor Kelvin or someone deleted it. However, I'm sure that bit of information has been given to the police and they've added it to the investigation. You all... Things are getting crazy. I mean, you all watch the news. It seems as though so many people of all ages are leaving here, making their transition, if you will. If anyone in the Op Alabama area or surrounding areas have any information about the death of Pastor Kelvin Burks, please contact the Op Alabama Police Department. The number is 334 334- 493-4511 and on the screen you can see the address and the phone number if you have any information please contact that police department now this particular case reminds me of stories that I've done in the past you all remember the story I did on the minister of music in Richmond Virginia Rupert Houghton who was killed by someone he knew this man right here 28 year old Zakel Johnson and we followed that story all the way up until Zakel got sentenced last year to 25 years in prison and you all remember that friends and family members said that Zakel and Rupert knew each other but no one knew how and what the relationship was but I did do some investigation to find out around the time of Rupert Houghton's uh, murder that Zakel was on social media asking for money asking if people could send him you know money to his cash app and I truly believe and you all I told you this I believe that Rupert was trying to help Zakel and things just went left also you all remember the story I did four months ago on Pastor Jason West out of Beaumont Texas who was also found dead in his home and the Beaumont police arrested Shannon Arguan for his murder you all remember they found Shannon's fingerprints at the scene of the crime and also video evidence that Shannon had been at Pastor Jason West's home prior to the killing. Then in November of last year, a grand jury indicted Shannon for the murder of Pastor Jason West. Now, family and friends in this case as well, and also the investigators, are still trying to figure out what was the relationship between Pastor Jason West and Shannon Arguan. And you all know I'm following that case closely and I'll give you all updates as soon as they come out. In regards to those last two cases, the uh, Minister of Music, Rupert Hodden, and uh, Pastor Jason West, I told you all in those two videos that you can't help everybody. Now look, I'll be following this case closely with Pastor Kelvin Burks out of Opt, Alabama. And when there are updates, I will let you all know. Again, if you have any information on this case concerning Pastor Kelvin Burks, please contact the Op Alabama Police Department at 334-493-4511. Again, that's 334-493-4511. Now I'm off of this. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. And again, I'd like to send my condolences out to the family and friends of Pastor Kelvin Burks. Peace.